Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to save settings or user input at runtime to your settings file. Let's create a new Windows Forms project. In the Solution Explorer expand properties and double click on settings.settings. .settings. This will open your settings file where you can define the variables for the values that need to be saved. Put in the name, in my case just name. Select the data type, here it is string. For scope choose user because application settings cannot be changed during the running of a program and user settings can. My value for now is empty on the string and I will create another variable called tell with an integer default zero. Now let's save the settings.settings .settings file and let's go back to the designer. I will just skip this step. I added two text boxes to input a name and a telephone number and of course a button to save these values later on. Below I added two labels to output the current settings. So let's start coding. I will create a onload event for my main form. You will see the reason for this in a second. First I will create a new function to get the settings variables. I will output the settings to the labels I have just created by accessing properties.settings.default and the name of the variable in the settings file. In my case name and tell. I also have to convert the telephone integer to a string to print it on a label. Now I will call this function in the onload event I created earlier. This will retrieve the settings from the settings file every time the form loads, like you can see now. There are the values, empty and the default integer 0. Now let's save values to the settings. I will create another function to save values called save settings. I will set the values of my variables in the settings file to the text boxes values, like I did before. It's properties, settings, default and the name of the variable. I will convert the telephone number again. This last line here is very important. You need to actually save the settings by accessing your properties again using the save method. After that I will call this function on the save button click event. Let's compile and check it out. Okay, now start it again. And there are the values we just set up. After I have saved my values, I will call the getSettings function again to retrieve them at runtime. So let's compile again. Try it out. And it worked. Okay, let's check again, start this up again, one second. Okay, great, all is there. I really hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, the project folder can be downloaded, the link is in the description. I appreciate any likes, shares and subscriptions. Thanks for watching.